It's your Bucket Productions and Bay Area Hoops here presenting the second team all county for Hill, Hillsborough County. Um, starting off today's list, we have a freshman Ooh. out of Blake Ooh. High School, Ooh. Emmanuel Sharp. This kid was special. I, I, ain't, I ain't got much else to say, but th th this kid um, really turned a lot of heads this yes. year. Um, coming in averaging 25 points a game, um, that's something you rarely ever see. Um, in any, to me, in any state, county, um, you know, across the country, this man was the third leading scorer First as a freshman. Um, number three on the list. Uh, you know, he's uh, played at Blake under his dad. Um, but I, 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 even if he wasn't playing with his dad, I he feel like average, he would uh, average at least you 15, know, 20. I, 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 can't, I, got, I got a debate with that. It depends on what system he would be in. At Blake. At Blake. If you if, oh at Blake. At Blake. Okay, different story. Okay. At Blake. Continue. You know, <laughs> um, Continue. You know but this, this kid, you know, he, to me he has a whole package. Uh he can handle the ball, he can shoot the ball, he can finish at the rim, he's able to draw fouls. Um not really the best defender, I would say. Um, you know, he could slim down a little bit. Um, I think he, I mean, he he's not a bad size. But he's, he's starting to stretch out. Yeah. yeah. He's starting to stretch he's out. He's stretch stretch looking good on. Mm -hmm. you know, I think he's going to be, a, to me, a solid two. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to go to a two because he can score the ball. Mm -hmm. he, got, he can score the ball at three levels. Yeah. You know, so All three levels. I, I see him matching right at that two position. Mm -hmm. <coughs> he's about 6'4". Six, four, six, four, right now. He's about 6'6". Six, 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 oh, six, six, that's scary. That would be scary. That's scary. That's scary. That's scary. That's scary. So, Especially if he gets more athletic, he starts knocking the ball. Um, you know, the ceiling is anywhere for this kid. <coughs> you know, if, it, if, if we had to pick, if he was a sophomore and doing it, and he would be my most improved. Mm -hmm. Just because, well, I, you know, we talked the other day, where I see, where I saw him at in Charlotte. At you said C he was a four. CP3, he yeah. was playing the four or five position. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a lot of people who didn't know, who didn't know him, mm -hmm. you know, um, he was in the All Star game of a CP3 event, and he opened eyes, but he was opening eyes yes. through post. He was showing good footwork, good hands, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know that's when he started getting his name at, you mm -hmm. know. So I was like, and I said, hey, God, wow, one of the Tampa kids did all right, mm -hmm. you know. So you know, and I think he was playing with uh, Skill Center at the time. And it was Skill Center at the time, but now it's like, I guess you know he he got in that gym, you know, he's working out, kids, man, work on your craft. Mm -hmm. um, this is a prime example, and he just stretched his game and added on to it. You know, now you, know, you see him playing a one, you know, he's playing a two, you know, he, he's picking up double teams, you know. Yeah. And uh, I mean, if you, if, if you even push up, you say we're going to try to stop, he's still getting towards you. Get, yeah, he's getting past you. He's just, he's, you know, he's knowing how to get the shots up. He knows when to shoot the shot. And, uh, I hear he's been working with um, his dad. I heard his dad yeah. was a big part of um, his life. The whole family, actually. Coach Sharp did a good job. Yeah. You know, still, he still you know, does an amazing job over here. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we would, honestly, I don't think we'd be talking about Blake right now. No, I never. Mean, it really wouldn't. It really wouldn't. They, um, yeah, I think last year they had a. No, nah, maybe one five. Man, yeah. you know, last couple of years. Yeah. Um, you know, this year they picked up double digit wins. Matter of fact, you know, since. Your brother. Since Blake and, and Andre uh, Smith. Andre Smith. Yeah. yeah. They ain't seen they haven't seen the talent this big since 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 Man. oh what that's what, twelve, two thousand twelve? This kid this kid is beyond special. I mean you don't just see a twenty five point score just coming to the Nah, there's a lot of like that. Yeah. Just, like, I think he's going I think he may be playing each one teach one uh, yeah. travel ball this summer. Yeah. He so, has a yeah, big summer coming up for him. Big summer, so guys watch out for Emmanuel Sharp on this on that circuit coming up. Definitely. Each one, teach one. Next on the list, we have uh, Kevin Knox's little brother, Kobe Knox, um, out of TC, Tampa Catholic, um, junior guard. I like this kid. Um, you know, he's uh, he's growing into his game. Uh, I, I feel like um, he's more of a a knockdown shooter type. Um, he gets, he, gets he has a little handle. He gets to the rim. Um, I feel like he's gotten a lot better since I first seen him. Yeah. Um, I think he's, uh, you know, the name, the, the name kind of um, clouds his, his, his growth. Yeah, for, I, yeah. I think earlier mm -hmm. in the year, but, you know, when you see him play, and I think he's coming out of that shadow. Yes. You know, because, uh, you know, he shot up a couple inches. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, looks, and he's, he's aggressive. 
we need it. You know, he's not just another one that played well at the Hoop Fest. Mm -hmm. You know, another one played well. Yeah, he did it against uh, Trey Mann, actually. Trey Mann is the Dunn's All American. Yeah. Um, Shout out to Trey Mann. Yeah. You know, but he, um, Kobe, Kobe Knox is coming up, and he, like I said, the sky's, the sky's the limit for a kid like that because of his uh, uh, class mm -hmm. right now. And uh, and I think next year he should have another breakout. Year. I think he averaged 18, I think, this year uh, for Tampa Catholic. They uh, led his team to the state Final Four. Um, they had a really good year this year as well. He got a good core over there. That junior core is a good core. The whole team, yeah, uh, outside of Kobe, they also have uh, really good help over there, good coaching staff under uh, Dezagua. Um And I think Kevin Knox okay, um, is over there yeah. helping as well. Um, but this kid, you know, I'm looking for him next year. Um, really make a big impact. Hopefully, they can you know take out all the way to the state finals. Next on the list, we have Jaron Phillips from Tampa Prep, um, senior guard. I think he's about six four as well. Yeah, he's a big six four. Big six four. Big six four. This man looks like you know he's already college playing college, college basketball. Um, um, to me, he's been looking like that since well, sophomore, sophomore year. year. Yeah, yeah. It's like um, he lives in the weight room. Yeah, you know this. This is a big guard. Um, very mature. Um, he's able to defend and guard at his position, guard and score in his yeah, position. Phillips will compete. He'll compete. Phillips will compete. Um, I think he averaged like 20 points this year. Yeah. Um, very vital part. Uh, he's the head for Tampa Prep. Um, they ended up going to the playoffs this year. Um, I feel like last year I was a little disappointed in his game. I feel like he could have been more aggressive. Um, he averaged about 13. You know, I felt like he was a 20. I, th I felt like he's a double double player, you know, for his size. Yeah, he's a walking double double. He can be, he can be a yeah. walking double double. And th this year, he spent his game. He averaged seven more points than he did last year. Yeah, he's doing a lot more emotion this year, too, as well. Yeah. You know, that uh, that emotion plays a big part in your game, you know, the confidence. Yeah, he's he played for a lot of that. Yeah. A lot of that. Definitely. Um, you know, and playing down the coach family, he learned the game. Um, you know, he's uh, Coach Finley is a great coach. Um, he really grooms his kids, um, high caliber kids. Um, and at Tampa Prep, you know, they're they're usually top tier teams every year. Yeah. Um, they always making the playoffs. Um, you know, to be the face of that program over there is a, a, a accomplishment itself. Well, yeah, um, Jared, Jared Phillips. You know, I don't. We have to check out where he's at. Some of his interest, if he has any offers, but we have check that. I know he did have a few. Uh, I think. I seen Troy. Um, he hasn't committed yet. I would like to see them gone a little farther though. They yeah. help her. So I wonder, like he may, he's another. One. I don't know. I don't know where he's playing travel ball at. Maybe back in Georgia. He was playing for a school, a team in Georgia. I yeah. seen him over the summer. Yeah. Um, he actually had a really good summer. Um, the games I went to. Um, yeah. He was playing. He was a big, a big part of his team. He's a, he's one. He's, he's, he's those guys. He's a banger. He's not too. Not too much like um like on the ballers, you know, but he can play a, a little two guard, yeah. you know, like two guard three. Yeah. 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 Decent shot. Um his size uh, get, uh helps him to be able to post up smaller guards. Yeah, he's so sub contact. Yeah. You know, he should he should he's another player, you know, he should live at the line. Yeah. Oh know, definitely. He live at the line, definitely. No problem. Definitely. Um I definitely believe he's a D one prospect. Um he should be able to go somewhere uh, you know, just off the size alone, um, I feel like he's a he's a D one caliber. Next on the list, we have John I Broom. I don't know if it's John I or John either. I heard a commentator say John I. I always say John E. What? Correct us if you did. Yeah. You just saw on the social media. Uh, say it wrong, let us know. But uh, this kid right here uh, really surprised me. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't even know he transferred. Um, until I see them play. That may be the best thing he, he did. Uh, he did. So yeah, I mean, definitely. Very smart. I think, I think TC really, they maximized, maximized his, uh, his abilities. I, when he was at Player City, you, know, you, you rarely see them play. When he did, it wasn't like impactful. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now it's like he's very useful. It's like a utility. He's big. Mm -hmm. you know? they, yeah. feed, they feed him over there. He, he eats over there. You know, very cool. Over there. He's another one that played with him. At the hoop fest. And that was, oh, yeah. yeah I think that's the TC coming out day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> TC, no, they're TC, they, I'm telling you, they got a lot of young talent over there's there. Talent over there. Next year, they, I think they return everybody. Yeah. Um, You know, he came in from Plant City. Um, You know, 
like you said, not really much of an impact player, and he coming in this year. I think he was behind Kevin Knox in scoring uh, this year. I um, think that's one of the kids when you Kobe say Knox, Kevin. Kevin, Kobe Knox. Kobe Knox. He, he does. Uh, he does what you ask. He does, he's another one. Like uh, he lives around the block, mm-hmm. you know, in the paint. He won't do anything that'll make him look bad. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he comes off the screen, the picks. Pick and rolls, you know, good in that action. Great hands. Good hands, good footwork. Good, good finish around the rim. I would like to see him get a little bit more athletic. Yeah. Uh, start yeah. dunking the ball. Um, but even even with those limitations, he's still able, you know, to get uh, double doubles. Yeah, double doubles and good quality points for his team. Um, he actually got a little swagger to him too. I don't know if you've seen him play. Yeah, he be flexing on the camera. <laughs> what they call that drip? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm old school. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <call it drip. laughs> <laughs> you call that drip? Drip sauce, whatever you want to call it. Sauce? Yeah, yeah, you can ask him. You got a little swag to him. I'm trying to keep up. I think it's called. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. John, I, he, got, he got that drip, I guess. Um, but uh, I, I feel like another one. Uh, coming into next year, I feel like he'll be a big impact player in the coming this last year. He'll be, he'll be one of the top big men next year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. He'll be somebody to look out for. Coaches need anybody. Yeah. Uh, I think he's, what, 6'8", too. 6'8". 6'8". 6'8". But if he gets more athletic, I'm telling you, he's going to be, you know, scary. Scary combo. Last on the list, for second team, we have Gavin Antoine um, from Tampa Bay Tech High School. Um, this guy was excited. Yeah, he's showtime. Really exciting. He, uh, I mean, he was dunking on people. Everybody. <laughs> blocking shots. Um, he, he's what I call a rim runner. Yeah, rim runner. He knows his job as well. You know, he's not going to really do too much outside of his game. He no. knows. He works right to the front of that rim. Right front of the rim. He rebounds. And protected. And he, he, he blocks shots. He dunks. And he knows he can do that, and he does it well. And you know what? You know he has an unexpected length. Yeah. And I didn't know how you know, he stretches out. He's yeah. Kind of small. He's yeah. long. Big know. hands, too. That game, matter of fact, the game got video when he beat Crest mm-hmm. off that transition dunk. Oh, game winning dunk. Game winning dunk. Ridiculous. <laughs> game winning. He had a few, uh, you know, ESPN highlights yeah. uh, this year. Seeing Tech play, they're really like a momentum kind of team. You yeah. know, they, you they, know. Get, they got a lot of points in transition. Transition. Uh, you know, they, they really spark it on the defensive side. And, you know, when he got a nice dunk or he had a block or something, you know, it really got the rest of the team going. Um, so he's really a catalyst for the team um, and a big momentum builder. Um, so, you know, once you once he got going, you know, the rest of the team usually followed. Right. Um, right. He, was, he, was, he made impact plays. Yeah. But I would, I would love to see. I didn't think he had too much post moves. Um, he was a little undersized um, for the center yeah, spot. That for, for the he, most part, but this county. See, this county, he was good. Yeah. He was good. Um, you know, but if he had, I, well, I feel like a jump shot. Uh, better jump shot since he's undersized. Um, you know, if he could stretch the floor a little bit. Yeah, um, that's something he could add on. So add you listen, on. add on that to your game. Mm-hmm. That eight, you know, eight to ten, you know, work around back to the basket, a little, you know, a little something. Add just change it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Um, I can see that. I, I I put him as a D2 type player. Yeah, yeah. I think he'd be D2, any D2. Yeah, definitely. This kid, uh, you know, great athleticism. Um, you know, he can help out the program. Um, so I feel like uh, Tampa Bay Tech got another big, uh, I think the last one was Tyrese. Tyrese um, Williams. Tyrese Williams. I, uh, oh, who was the one before that? Was that Gabriel? Remember him? The, 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 the Dredge? Yeah. I didn't see him. It was like, was he the quarterback or something? I don't know. No, no, not that no, one. No, no. I think he went to FAM or something. I heard. Something like he been with, Did he go to FAM? I heard he went to FAMU. Yes, yeah, he was I like think, six eight. Maybe. Yeah. Six eight. You know, six 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 nine. Mm-hmm. Tech always find. Yeah, like, they, they they always pop up over at Tech. Um, you know, hopefully. Shout out to Coach Johnson. Shout out to Coach Johnson. It's tough. Tough. Yeah, he 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 breeds a lot of uh, tough minded kids. They're always a great defensive team. Oh, they're the best defensive yeah. team. Um, not the best, but that's, that's 94 feet of problem. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's how they're going to pick you up full court. Uh, that wraps up our second team for It's a Bucket um, and Barrier Hoops. Um, thank you for watching.